Well, hey y'all and welcome back. Today, we're doing a cheesy chicken and vegetables uh, on the Blackstone. Very simple, very, very easy. Will not take a lot to put this together, but the good thing about this recipe is it is so customizable. Now, a lot of recipes I do it that way, but this one really is. I mean, you can really, really change this up and really make it yours. Now you can see by the ingredients that I picked out, I'm just going with a very basic, simple recipe, not using a lot of stuff, but that's where your imagination can come in. You can really change this up, like I said, really make it yours. And this is one of my favorite recipes is I'm trying to kind of wash my carbs a little bit and this is a perfect meal, keto, if you will, a meal for this. So if you're trying to cut out your carbs, kind of lose a little weight, trying to do a little keto, this is the meal for you. So you're gonna go ahead and fire up that Blackstone and get it heating up because this recipe won't take long at all to cook. This is perfect for a weeknight meal, perfect for an afternoon snack, prep for lunch for the week, however you wanna do it. So with that being said, let's get on over to the griddle and let's start cooking. Well, there's that white smoke. That means it's time to get some groceries on the griddle. Let's start on a little oil. Throw some down right there. Come in here with all this diced up chicken thighs. I love using chicken thighs. Now spread them out for just a second. Now, nobody wants no bland chicken. So grab up that essential blend and let's unbland the chicken. Now you can use whatever kind of seasoning you like. I mean, I love this essential blend by Blackstone. It's like a salt, pepper, garlic, and some other seasonings in it. It is really, really, really good. Just come here and mix it all together. Man, that smells good, so good already. Now, it's not gonna take this chicken long at all to cook, so we need to go ahead and get them veggies on. So I'm gonna throw down some more oil. Now I have some fresh broccoli crowns here. I've no, sometimes I use frozen, normally I do, but I was in the produce section, I'm like, you know, I think I wanna use fresh broccoli this time. So let's get that down back there. We got one medium sized yellow onion chopped up. Put that right there. And we have an assortment of bell peppers, the different colors here, and we're gonna throw that in with the onions. And it can't hurt at all to add in some more seasoning to these peppers and onions. Give that a good mix. Now, as far as these peppers and onions and the broccoli go, I still like a little bit of bite left in them. Just saute them down just a little bit. I don't want to fully just cook them down. Just a nice saute, just soften them up a little bit. Same with that broccoli and put them on this chicken. I think that's gonna be good. And as far as these broccoli crowns back here go, I mean, I left some pretty big. I've cut some up into other smaller pieces. Hey, cut them up like you like. I may just cut some of these bigger ones up a little more though. Didn't take long for this griddle to turn pretty, did it? This chicken thighs over here without a central blend on it, sure it's smelling good. And you got this broccoli back here browning up. Oh, we can't forget about these bell peppers and onions right here in the front too. Man, already coming together. Now, as far as this broccoli goes back here in the back, if you want to steam it and put a dome over it, you can. Just add a little water. Now, I'm not going to put a dome on mine. I'm just going to kind of steam it up right there. But like I say, I don't really want to soften it way down, but that will speed up the process if that's what you want to do. So now it's just a matter of, I want to brown this chicken up. I want a good sear on that chicken on all sides. I want these veggies kind of sauteed up. So just let things cook a little bit, kind of hang out. Just give them a stir every now and then, and then once they're ready, like to your liking, then we'll mix everything together. Now, you remember when I said I may cut that broccoli up a little smaller? The more I got to cooking and kind of stirring things around, the more I thought, I think I just need to do just that. So, like these big pieces like right here, so come in here and just kind of cut them up a little smaller. But hey, you do what you like. I mean, if you like these big crowns of broccoli like this, that's fine. I kind of want it to go a little farther, and so, I'm come here and just cut some of it up. And yes, you can cut straight on this Blackstone. It will not hurt it at all. It's cold roll steel, not gonna hurt it. 
I think that looks pretty good, what y'all think? And since we're checking things out, let's check on this chicken. Starting to get a little sear on there, as you can see. Starting to get where I want it. We'll just let that cook a little while longer. And as far as these peppers and onions go, they have really softened up. If you notice, I moved them over here to the side. They're still cooking, but they're slowing. I, I slowed the cooking process down by moving them over here. It's not near as hot against the edges of the griddle as it is in the center. Griddle management is key. I mean, if you see something cooking too quick in the center, move it off to your edges, or if you need to, turn a burner off. That's the beauty of having a 36 inch griddle like this is I can cook in zones if I need to, and that really, really helps out. Well, I've kept things stirred around a little bit, got a good sear on this chicken right here. This broccoli's getting good and tender, got a little char on it. Oh, and these peppers and onions are all nice and softened up. It is time to build this thing and put it together. So at this point, it's just a matter of mixing it all together and putting some cheese and topping it off and taking it up and trying it out. So let's just all mix it together. Now this could be a good base for a stir fry. Uh, put this over some noodles, put this over rice. There's a lot of ways you can go with this. But if you're trying to stay keto, this is the way to go. Man, that is looking good right there by itself. That'd make a good little rice, a little, that'd make a good little uh, chicken bowl, I guess you'd call it. Put some sauce over it, man, yeah. Man, that is looking good right there. I think if you just put that in a bowl right there and put some kind of maybe Japanese barbecue sauce or something on that, that right there alone by itself would be good. But that ain't what we're doing with this one. We ain't done yet. So now I'm just gonna come in here with some cheese and make it cheesy. Now I'm just gonna use this Colby Jack cheese. Uh, if you have a special kind of cheese that you like, use a certain kind, some pepper jack or a blend, Hey, let me know. I would love to know in the comments how you do this. So I think that's pretty good right there. So now I'm gonna kind of shape it up, and make it fit under this dome right here. At least I think I am. I'm gonna try to. How's that? Oh, we did it. Most of it. Got most of it. Get that in there. Close enough. Let it sit there for just a second or two. Well, actually about a minute maybe. And let that cheese melt down and we're gonna pop the top and see what it looks like. Now, if you wanna speed it up a little bit, just lift it up just a little bit, spray a little water in there, and let it steam. Well, it's only been about a minute. And with that steam that we put up under there, it shouldn't take it long. So I say we pop the top and see what we got. All right, y'all, here we go. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow. That is looking good, y'all. Man, it looks even better than when we covered it up. So now there's a trick. We gotta get this thing onto a plate. And uh, it may not look as pretty when we plate it up, but that's okay, we're gonna plate it up. So I think what I'm gonna do is lay down my cutting board, grab my big plate right here. We'll try to scoop this up like this. And for the most part, put it up on the plate. I think we got a pretty good job of it, pretty good job of it right there. Put some more around through there. Let's get the rest of it off here now. We'll just kind of go around with it. And there you go. Let's go over here and check it out. Now, how'd you like how fast that came together? I mean, super simple, very easy. There's one other thing I want to do, and that's top it off a little bit more essential blend. A post dusting, if you will. Just add some flavor all through that dish. Perfect. Y'all need to see this up close. Look how beautiful this turned out. All that cheese in there, that sear on that chicken, them tender veggies, that broccoli, oh, all this stuff together just looks so good. Man, we got to get some pictures of it now and try it out. Well, ain't nothing left to do now. We would have stared at it, we done looked at it, we done, I done smelt it. I wish you could, because it really does smell good. Ain't one left thing to do, let's try it out. So let me try to get some of this broccoli in here. Man, that broccoli is so tender. Piece of this chicken. Some of these peppers and onions. Mm. So, 
that. To be so simple, it's so packed with flavor. That is amazing. That essential blend is perfect in this dish. It's not overpowering. Can you use another seasoning? Yeah. Use whatever you like, but it's a central blend. I highly recommend it. Uh, like I said, it's not overpowering. Uh, you can change this up a lot of ways. I mean, you can make this into a, I come real close. I ain't gonna lie. I come real close to having a Caribbean jerk seasoning to the chicken and kind of going that route with it. Uh, you can add sausage. You can add shrimp. You can add jalapenos. You know, the, it's, it's limitless. Honestly, this dish is limitless to what you can do. Put it over rice, put it over noodles. There's so many ways you could do it. And that's what I'd like to know from you is what ways would you do this dish right here? How would you finish it up? How does you and your family love it? I would love to know. I love to know the variations y'all come up with. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like seeing other things that I may be doing or we may be doing as a family, uh, go check out our other channel, Hanging with the Crazy Crew. We'd love to have you over there. That's where you can find us at all the parks and all the places we go and the things we do. A lot of behind the scenes stuff at parks there also. And when I say parks, like amusement parks, like Carowinds, Dollywood, uh, maybe Six Flags Over Georgia, places like that. We do a lot of that, so love to have you over there. Uh, if you're not already following me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, all that places like that, there's links down below. We'd love to have you on those platforms because there you'll see a lot of pictures and behind the scenes stuff that goes on around here. With the food trailer also, that's I don't post on YouTube. So if you don't want to miss any of that, be sure you follow me over there. Links to all that's down below also. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it out and we'll see you next time.